Yo, what's going on guys? So just a quick little update on the 40 gallon. Since my last video with the cyano treatment, all the cyan cyano is gone in the sand bed. It's remained gone for the course of about the last five days or so. So I'm hoping it's not gonna come back. If I have to continue to siphon, I will. Um, another thing I was thinking possibly in the future, I don't really wanna mess with it right now just because I'm really scared to do it. Let me know what you think in the comments is to add more sand eventually so we can maybe eventually get a tiger pistol shrimp to go with our goby. I think that'd be really cool, form another symbiotic relationship in the tank. Just something, you know, else to kind of look forward to. In terms of new things, I have this rose bubble tip anemone. I've had him, I would say for about four days now. He hasn't moved a ton. I had him right in the crevice of this rock right here and he decided to move forward right into my Xenia garden, which the Xenia doesn't seem to be affected at all. Um, maybe shriveled up in the back, so maybe he has stung it a little bit in the back. But for the most part, the Xenia is not, not seeming to care very much. Um, I and if he does kind of take out the Xenia right here, it clears up some space anyway. I do have all this Xenia up top here, which is growing like a weed. And I'm actually trying something new. I placed a frag of it in the back against the glass and it's actually starting to stick to the glass and i'm hoping that it'll start growing up the glass along the back side i think it'll add some movement to the tank it'll look really cool really pretty the kimmy clean also as well as killing the stuff on my sand but it's also killed a lot of my glass you can see my glass just looks crystal crystal clear i checked my phosphates and my nitrates and those are both really low um, so I don't think we're going to have a problem with it growing back. I'm not sure what caused it in the first place. I really have no idea. I think it could have just been part of the tank maturing and going through that, you know, maturing process. It's something that most people get and it's probably what, what it was. I don't think it was necessarily a husbandry issue. I was thinking about taking this macro algae out. You can see it right here. I had to move it. It was over here, but I don't necessarily want it to get stung by the anemone. So I moved it over here. <sighs> It doesn't look the best right there, but I want to keep it in the tank on the fact that I think it does play a huge, huge factor in my phosphate and nitrate control. My nitrate stay at zero in this tank, and all I'm running is a hang on the back filter because this protein skimmer is overflowing nonstop, so it's not even running right now. After this next water change, I'm going to try it one more time, and if it doesn't work, I'm just going to permanently take it out. It's not doing anything, um, and it's just taking up space. I th also with my dosing, I think that could be something that it doesn't like. It's very sensitive little protein skimmer. I would eventually like to get another one in the future, um, a different brand maybe. Um, I'm gonna do more research. I definitely want a skimmer on this tank, but I don't think it's necessarily needed. It's just for extra precaution. This is something I personally want. I don't necessarily need it. Um, I've been using Reef AB Plus. I just dosed it in the tank. Everything's been really, um, really happy and growing nice. Especially this frog spawn, he is split into two heads. Can't necessarily see the two distinct heads right now. Looking at him, see that green? There's one mouth, and then up top there's his second mouth. The torch has been nice and extended for the most part. This black female clownfish actually host this torch, and that's the whole reason I got the anemone. Hoping that she would stop hosting this torch and go to that anemone, but so far they've shown no interest. But it only has been in the tank for four days, so I'll give it time. Eventually, I would hope that they would go to it, at least this little orange guy, because every time he gets near this torch, she's a bully, she chases him off, so it'd be cool to at least let him have that anemone. If not, I mean, the tent, it still looks cool. Um, if they ne decide never to host it, there's crabs and stuff you can get that'll host anemone, so I can always get one of those. Um, everything else, the zoas are doing pretty well. The zoas on the left have grown another head, starting to form in there. These zoas are climbing up the rock kind of frontwards. I moved these yellow zoas back on the sand bed. They have really small polyps, but they have about seven very, very tiny polyps. The three I originally had, and then there's, a, there's about four more breaking the surface right now. So they are growing. My green zoas seem to be really happy, and they're opening up, and they're growing as well. My yellow polyps don't seem to be too happy. I'm not sure what it is, if there's just zoas, I don't maybe chemical warfare, but zoas tend to not do that, so... That doesn't really make, I don't really know what it is, but they've just not really opened up much. They're always closed up. My Xenia has detached itself and it's formed a little frag on this rock, which I'm honestly fine just letting it grow wherever the heck it wants. I love the Xenia coral. I think it's beautiful. I don't have a problem with it growing wherever it wants. 
Um, I mean, there is only so much space it can grow. The frog spawn, the Duncan, the torch, they kind of keep it all in check where it can only grow in certain areas. This anemone is doing a good job of keeping it in check. Before I had my macroalgae, but it's not going to grow over the anemone, so the anemone will just sting it. My Kenya tree is doing phenomenal. He wasn't doing well for the longest time, and he's really growing and really nice and extended. Super beautiful. I'm hoping he starts to grow more on that rock right there. Um, really, I just want to keep him isolated on that rock. He is a beautiful coral. I don't really want him all over the tank, though. Have my brain coral. Not really done much. My GSP looks nice and open, like it's growing possibly a little bit. I'm hoping it starts to grow up that rock here within the next month or so. Trumpet coral hasn't really done well since I got it. He looks like he's starting to finally split right there. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he is doing something. He just doesn't ever look that happy. I just fed him, so that could be the reason he's kind of shrunken up like that. My Duncan, I try, I'm trying to spot feed him again with some fish food as well as give you the um, Reef AB Plus. Just on the fact that his heads, I mean, he has all these heads on him, but they're not really growing like the like the two main heads. Like they don't have the long sweeping tentacles or anything like that, which is what I really want. I want it to look like a big golf ball. Um, and it just hasn't done that yet. I'm sure it will over time. And this little guy, he's growing pretty nicely. I think he's growing a little bit. I He's just only been in the tank roughly maybe three weeks. So he is fairly new and corals do take a while to get settled, but he looks really happy. And he's probably grown a few new stalks on him. Starting to grow a little bit more ever since um, in the last week or two, ever since I've really started focusing on the algae, but even before the chemical clean, I was scrubbing the, you know, the glass and I was just trying to keep everything nice and clean. And I think that's really done something for the tank as well as actually when I took my protein skimmer out as well, I've noticed more growth and that could be just more particulates in the water. So maybe I don't want a protein skimmer. We'll just kind of see how it plays out. I might go protein skimmerless for a little while, see how it does. If I'm, my tank's doing great, then probably won't add one in. And then the last thing I do want to add to this tank probably here soon is I want to get a heater controller. Um, just some, just to kind of make the tank look a little nicer on the side. Just a little extra gadget. Um, just to see what the temperature is at all times in here. Make it easier to check. Make sure it's constant. I don't have any problem with this heater. I don't think there's any problems with it. I did move it to the back and I can't really get it to stick on the wall. So it is kind of just in the sand bed, but it's pushed in the corner. So it's not really bothering anything. And everything seems to be pretty happy in here. Hopefully this anemone stays put. I'm hoping he doesn't move around anymore. I think he looks good right there. It just kind of sucks that he decided to kind of sit on my Paulus and Xenia. I'm sure some of those are gonna die back in the next couple weeks. He's gonna sting them all so many times they are gonna die. But like I said, I do have the Xenia all on the top and he's not gonna be able to kill all of this. So, and as well as I have the Xenia growing in the back, let me show you real quick. There is the Xenia growing in the back right there. And you see it's attaching itself to the wall and I'm hoping it grows up towards the light. So tank's crystal clear. Tank's doing really well. And I'll keep you guys updated. Peace.